Welcome back to Macro Examiner, where we explore macroeconomics and financial markets. In today's episode, we have a series of charts and data points that offer intriguing insights into the current state of financial markets and the economy. Examine market trends, investor sentiment, and potential events on the horizon. Let's dive in. In this image, we have a chart from the CFTC displaying the net position in S&P contracts in orange, spanning from 2000 until the present. On the right-hand side, we see the blue line representing money market assets or cash in trillions of dollars. What's striking about this chart is that the short position in S&P futures contracts has reached even more dramatic levels than was seen during the 2008 Great Financial Crisis. It suggests an increasing bearish sentiment among market participants. Furthermore, the chart reveals a significant increase in the amount of cash held in money market funds. In fact, this cash now constitutes over 60% of the Federal Reserve's balance sheet at more than $5 trillion. This accumulation of cash or dry tinder, as described by New Edge Wealth, has grown exponentially, setting the stage for a significant market event, what some refer to as a melt-up, or blow-off top as stock prices climb a wall of worry. The combination of elevated short positions and the substantial increase in cash holdings indicates a market environment where there is the potential for a sudden surge, which could be driven by a rush to cover shorts, buying back shares sold, or deploy excess liquidity that is sitting in cash or cash equivalents. Building on the theme of ample liquidity, investment bank Evercore offers further insight into the implications of the significant funds held in money market accounts. Here we have a chart provided by Evercore ISI that showcases the ICI money market fund assets from 2000 until the present. Currently, these assets sit at a staggering $5.5 trillion. Evercore offers an intriguing perspective on this chart describing the significant amount of money in money market accounts as a mountain of money. They believe that this abundance of funds can act as fuel for an equity momentum market move, potentially driving the market forward. In fact, Evercore goes as far as suggesting that this ample liquidity could accelerate the arrival of their year-end S&P 500 price target of 4,450, potentially as early as July 4th. This insight presents us with a captivating scenario where the sheer magnitude of funds available in money market accounts could play a decisive role in shaping the market's trajectory. Continuing our exploration of Evercore ISI's insightful research, we now shift our attention to an intriguing chart that reveals a significant spike in the Bloomberg keyword, bull market. As indicated by Evercore, this surge in the usage of the bull market keyword signifies a growing sentiment of optimism and confidence among investors. It suggests that momentum is starting to feed on itself, fueled by the actions of both investors and the media. It's a fascinating phenomenon to observe how market sentiment and perception can influence the narrative and drive further participation in a potential market breakout, which can force those who are short to cover, further propelling stock prices higher. Continuing our analysis, let's shift our focus to a chart provided by Goldman Sachs titled S&P 500 Level and EPS. This chart offers valuable insights into the relationship between the S&P 500 index and Goldman Sachs' adjusted EPS forecast. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can observe the S&P 500 price, while the right-hand side showcases Goldman Sachs' adjusted EPS forecast represented by the light blue line. The chart displays the actual EPS for 2022, which stands at $222 per share. Looking ahead, Goldman Sachs estimates an EPS of $224 per share for 2023 and a further increase to $237 per share by 2024. These projections indicate an optimistic outlook for corporate earnings growth. Of particular interest is Goldman Sachs' estimated year-end price target for the S&P 500 in 2023, which stands at 4,500. This implies an anticipated increase in the index, reflecting positive earnings forecast and supporting the notion of a favorable market environment. Continuing our analysis, let's shift our focus to a chart that provides valuable insights into household holdings of cash, bank deposits, and money market fund shares, the mountain of money that is fuel for a potential stock market surge. This chart spans from 1990 to the present and compares the actual amount of these liquid assets represented by the blue line to the five-year growth trend before 2019. What's noteworthy is that household liquid assets, including cash, bank deposits, and MMF holdings, remain $1.9 trillion higher than the level that would have prevailed had these assets continued to rise at pre-2019 growth rates. 
This indicates a significant accumulation of liquid assets by households and is the result of the extraordinary fiscal and monetary measures taken in 2020 and 2021. The sustained increase in household liquid assets highlights the potential for a robust market environment. With a significant amount of cash and liquid reserves available, there is potential fuel for a stock market surge. As investor sentiment, market dynamics, and economic conditions evolve, these ample liquid assets held by households could play a role in shaping the future trajectory of financial markets. As we conclude our exploration of these insightful charts and data points, it's clear that market participants are closely monitoring key indicators, such as short positions, cash holdings, and household liquid assets. The interplay between these factors has the potential to influence market sentiment, investor behavior, and the overall direction of financial markets. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Macro Examiner. We hope these charts have provided you with valuable insights into the current state of financial markets and the potential events on the horizon. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis as we continue to explore the fascinating world of macroeconomics and financial markets.